so today we're going to be looking at the Firestone Adventures 4Runner. Let's get to it. So it might look like a 2022 to you, but it's not. <laughs> this is a 2016 4Runner uh, TRD Pro, or it used to be a TRD Pro. We've basically ripped everything that was TRD Pro off of it. Um, but it, it began as a TRD Pro because it was a much more like subtle build uh, when we first started building it, I guess. Uh, so let's just, yeah, let's just jump right in. Let's talk about the front. Um, the thing you cannot ignore is this front bumper. This is from CBI and we've had this thing on this truck for like two or three years. It's the only full size, full replacement front bumper we've ever ran. And quite frankly, love the look of it. Think it, it fits the OEM and, and the styling really, really well. Um, inside the front bumper, we're running Baja Design lights, pods on each side and a 30 inch single row. Um, again, you know, no complaints. Like the Bajas, they, they continue to blow my mind. They're, they're unbelievably bright and they do what they're supposed to do, uh, which is great. We actually take this thing night riding like quite often. Like we've done tons of like night rides in Moab and, and stuff like that. And this is all you need. You'll notice it's the only lights on the whole truck. So we've really simplified this down. We used to have, you know, ditch light brackets and lights and lights on the rack and side lights and all kinds of stuff. And we've, we've kind of gone the more simple look, tried to shed some weight and make this as practical as possible. Uh, also you'll see in the front CBI bumper is a worn winch. Um, this is wireless worn winch, uh, does great, pairs well with CBI bumper, it fits really well in there. We've had this for, for years, absolutely no issues. We, ha we have had to replace the, uh, the synthetic line a couple of times just because, you know, we're, we're out goofing around or we're getting stuck or it, it gets, you know, snagged on something on the ground, uh, which is probably good to replace it and service it every once in a while anyway. So there is a fairly new synthetic line in there. And then up front, we have the Factor 55 Fairlead. Uh, which that is like an OG. We have like passed this down from like three of our past four runners onto this. This thing is, it's sick. So, and it looks really good too. All about, all about aesthetic. So as long as we're on the front, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about, uh, we opted in for like an OEM bug guard, basic, uh, but kind of ties in the look a little bit. Uh, we wrapped uh, this whole like front hood scoop black. Again, like new TRD pros have that look. So kind of like maintaining that Toyota, that Toyota look. And then obviously the whole truck is also wrapped. So this is the Firestone truck. You've probably seen it, you know, on the road. You've probably seen it on Instagram, on YouTube, at T4R Experience, at Destination Outdoor. I mean, it's been around for several years. Uh, this is like the third version of it, which we'll get into. But um, yeah, it, it goes without saying, like this thing pops. It's very, very red. So we'll, we'll kind of stay on the front end here. Um, we, we went with CBI bumper. We also went with full CBI skids, so probably a little hard to see in the video, but we'll show you, uh, you know, the the, whole, the front skid plate, uh, the, the center skid, uh, basically the whole thing underneath the truck is all CBI skids, all steel. Uh, fun fact, we used to have CBI aluminum skids, and then uh, we went out with David and Phoenix and a bunch of guys, and we hit a fairly difficult trail for this truck in Moab and like the skids did what they were supposed to do, but there was nothing, <laughs> there was nothing left of them after this trail. I mean, we were truly dragging this truck along, like fully testing it, testing the MT2s and testing the armor and, and like really getting after it. So uh, we, we, we switched, took off the aluminum skids, even though it's more weight, we, we slapped steel on. And these have, you know, they've been on for like two years now. They, they've already seen some, like some trails and some damage too. So uh, why don't we, Walk along to the side here. All right, moving on to the side here, we've got our, our full CBI skids. Again, CBI steel skids and our uh, rock sliders. Those are all also from CBI, so no top plate, real basic, nice little kick out. They serve their purpose for us. And then up top, uh, we have our Prinzu rack, a couple of Prinzu handles on each side. Got our Max tracks up top, which basically always live up there. And then the handy dandy pooper shovel. So we always keep this here and we've got some Rhino Rack uh, shovel clamps, which are kind of a cool little, little feature on here. They, they work pretty well. It's just, it's just a little bit chilly here because it's like, I think it's like 42 degrees. We're in the shade and we're literally up in like the middle of the mountains in the middle of winter. So anyway, we're gonna move on to like the front side here. Uh, we are running Dobbinson Snorkel, uh, clears day right on the side. A um, little bit better air quality and 
you know, we can go scuba diving now with the, with the snorkel. So, plus it looks just really, really good. Uh, custom TRD uh, plate up top. I'm a, I'm a sucker for OEM, so slap it on. Um, then let's, let's jump down here a little bit. So, it's a Firestone truck, so of course we're running the best tire Firestone offers. It's the Destination MT2, unbelievable tire uh, for us. It's been really great. And wrapped, and I guess the tires are wrapped around these black Rhino stadiums. Uh, nice clean look, clean finish. Um, been, been a big fan, of, big fan of these wheels. Um, and then, in order to fit these tires, we're certainly not done. Uh, we have some work uh, scheduled to uh, make these fit a little bit better. But so far, we've ran, or so far, we're running the the SPC upper control arm. It allows for maximum adjustability for us. And Dobinson's three-way adjustable MRRs, MRAs, uh, great suspension. Um, it's, it's proven time and time again to, to do it, what we're trying to do. So uh, we also uh, have a, like, a, like an OG part of this build, which is a, a body mount shop from Insane Fab. Uh, those of you who know Insane Fab, um, if you know, you know, type of thing. So it's kind of a cool uh, feature on this truck. And of course, we've done a bunch of cutting and we've had to replace these fender flares like five times um, just from some of the trails and mobbing in you know, Utah and whatever. Um, so thankfully they're just wrapped, so it's easy to you know get them fixed. But uh, some uh, new additions are coming to the front end of this. That that should be great. Um, I also want to mention with the front end that uh, we did regear this truck. So we're running 488s uh, all the way around, and that's really helped with the weight, especially when we're pulling trailers and stuff. Um, that's been a, a really big difference for us. So that kind of covers the front. Uh, let's jump in while we're up front. Let's jump into the engine bay. Show you what's in, what's inside this baby. All right, so as you can see, those struts should probably be replaced at this point. Um, so totally stock up front. Uh, this is the, the four liter that comes in every single 4Runner. We've not done a ton in the engine bay. And as you can see, it's really nice and clean. We take really good care of it. That's a joke. It's very dirty, um, probably from recent trips and whatnot. So uh, the, the biggest thing to note in here is the dual battery kit. So there's two batteries. It's from Genesis Off-Road. We've been running this for like... I mean, at least 50,000 miles, maybe 75,000 miles. Um, and the dual battery system has worked for us, but we, ha we have had a few issues with this kit. Number one, it's pretty heavy. Um, and the, the OEM, like the factory, uh, like fitment, uh, like the, the old battery cage, I guess, as you would call it, uh, it, it broke pretty quick. Like it just couldn't handle the dual battery weight. Uh, so we had to pull this out, basically re-weld and custom make like a whole uh, battery yeah, like cage uh, and tray for it down there. That, that's the word, battery tray. Um, and then, you know, we do have some issues like this does kind of rub um, right here, I think, on the hood. So, you know, whenever you're doing this stuff, whenever you're making these mods, especially we've been running this for, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 miles, you know, you're gonna see some issues, um, but we're here to, you know, basically let you in on the secrets and, and the truth behind this stuff. Um, but as you can see, we opted into, you know, we, we kept it, we still have it um, and it serves its purpose, but, um, there, there's always, you know, uh, finicky things that you'll find with a lot of this stuff, but otherwise the front of this, or I, I say the front, the, the whole engine bay is, uh, is for the most part stock, so there you go. So moving on to the back, before we jump to the inside and the rear bumper, uh, the rear suspension we're running is Dobinson's MRR 3 way adjustable. Uh, it's their long travel kit, which we will be doing some rebuilding and retuning here shortly. And then we're running literally the stiffest springs Dobinson's offers on this truck and you'll you'll soon find out why. Uh, but now, yeah, let's let's jump into the bumper in the back. The back bumper we're running is the C4 Fab rear bumper with single swing. Uh, we've got the AT Overland Jerry Can with a bit of trail damage there and then just the single spare tire. And then in the bumper, we've got a couple of uh, trail lights, rear lights, also camp lights. Um, but yeah, let's open this thing up. So again, single swing arm, uh, nice little camp table here. Uh, this bumper has been, it's been great for us. So moving along here, we've got the CBI Prinzer rear hatch ladder. We've ran a couple different ladders, so more to come on that. But let's, uh, let's jump into the, to the back here. It's a little bit chilly, so these rear struts aren't doing too hot right now. Uh, but this is like the bread and butter of our like travel and camping and uh, like road trip needs. So we've got the dual Dobinson's drawers. Been running these for a couple of years. We've got the Dometic CFX, I think 45. We've got this plugged in hardwired to a, to a, a switch we'll show you back there. Uh, and then we're running some air, air up tools and just the simple 
Jackery battery pack, and this is ba this basically always lives in here. Um, along this side, we have a panel uh, that runs along the side of the window. So occasionally, you know, we'll toss like a tow rope or some like recovery gear. But as of right now, it's just sitting blank. You can't see out of these windows anyway because the wrap. So we figured might as well toss up some some rear window panels and uh, and use the extra storage. So that's the rear. Uh, we can jump into the drawers now. So what do we keep in these drawers? One might ask. So. In this one, we've got basic toe straps, bungees, whatever, stuff that always lives in here. And in this drawer, we've got a Milwaukee pack out with like drills and tools. And again, basically this stuff never leaves the truck. Uh, we charge it and put it right back in for the next road trip. Uh, so that's the back end. So last but not least, we're gonna jump into the inside. But before that, you'll notice we do have a Yakima awning on the side of the rack. Clean, simple, look. We've always been big fans of Yakima. Um, so bolted on the, the awning. But yeah, let's, let's jump inside and show you the interior. All right, so again, this is a TRD Pro. So it came with like leather, heated seats, red trim, um, all the, the creature comforts that a 2016 TRD Pro 4 came with at the time. Other than that, we've kept this truck relatively stock. Uh, we used to have a big screen in here, but we, we, we basically dumbed this thing back down just to keep it simple, reliable. Uh, there's different people driving this truck all the time. It's going on different road trips all the time. So we just, we kept it nice, clean, simple. You know, added a phone mount, and that's that's really it. Uh, but for 150,000 miles, I'm I'm kind of shocked how well the inside of this truck is held up. Um, you know, some issues with the steering wheel, but I mean, that's really it. Um, it's been good for us. So that's the interior. Thanks for checking out the Firestone 4Runner, and we'll see you in the next video.